Hey guys, uh, Chris here, engineer at Z1, and we're bringing you a short video today about a maintenance uh, service to do on your Z1 supercharger, same for your VHR or DE. Um, and what we're talking about today is the drive belts system on the back of the supercharger assembly. So we build this whole assembly in a house for you for convenience. So when a, you order a kit, shows up at your door, pull out of the box, this is what you will see. It is ready to bolt on your, uh, your engine on your car. Specifically, the topic we're talking about today is the tension for the back drive belt. The belt is already pre-tensioned when we build it here. Uh, it's something you want to check after you get your car up and running. Once every oil change, it's very quick and easy to do. It takes maybe a minute or so. Um, and then if any adjustments are made, we can show you how to do that as well. So just a little bit of close up look on what we're doing here on the table with the app. So once we get our app open, we're gonna go to belt tension measure. We're gonna get our K profile set up, 10 ribs, 163 millimeter span length and 4.15 millimeter thickness. And so what we're doing here is uh, you're gonna hit uh, the record button and strum it it's like a guitar string and it will output your belt tension. And the range that you're looking to stay in is 750 to 1200 newtons. Right in the middle is a nice happy place in case, uh, because this is an active tensioner. So that's gonna give you, keep you in a safe range all the time when your car is running. But anywhere in there is, is what you're looking for. Just wanna double check it once you get your car up and running and maybe every oil change or so. We'll go over here to John's car and show you a little bit more hands-on on what we're talking about. All right guys, we're over here at John's car. Um, I'm just gonna show you hands-on on what you're gonna be doing to check your belt tension. Um, so once you get your full unit installed and everything, uh, system primed and, and running, this is when you would go ahead and double check that belt tension. Um, so I've already got the app here. I've got the K profile, number of ribs, all that put in here, and it's ready to go for me to record. So the reason why I got a screwdriver is just make it a little easier to reach. Um, so all you gotta do is you're gonna set your phone right there. Yep, hit record. Sometimes it's finicky. All right, so we see here, it's actually a little under tensioned. It's only uh, 696 Newtons. So that tells us we actually need to put a little more tension on the belt, and I'll show you how to do that now. So we're only gonna need two tools for this. We're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench and a ratchet with a five millimeter hex key socket. And so let's go over here. Just gotta break loose that jam nut. Already did, so I don't embarrass myself. Um, and then we are going to tighten it just a little bit. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Um, now the tighter it gets, it it's, has an exponential effect on the tension. So the more you do it, it's gonna ramp up very quickly. So you don't wanna do too much for checking it again. Um, so we've added a little bit of tension. Let's go ahead and do another recording. There we go. You can see we're at uh, 1,029 Newtons. That's gonna be right in the sweet spot in the middle. And so we're all set. Just gotta tighten this jam nut back up. And you're all good. You may need to do this once or twice, uh, two to three times after running the engine again, because all of that tension will get to, um, distributed among the whole belt. So definitely check at least twice. Um, maybe you have to do it a third time, but if you go to a little bit higher side of that range, usually after you check it and running it again, you'll be right in the sweet spot. Yep, so that's all it is, guys. The very quick and easy uh, maintenance task to do. Um, if you uh, have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team here. Thanks for watching.